You ask anybody, they ever went sword fishing, they loved it, really. As soon as it come January, I was ready to go sword fishing. It was a disease. Everybody felt the same way. I said, oh, get a calm day. Sword fish will be here pretty soon. Everybody rubbing their hands. You couldn't go after June. Everybody looked forward to sword fishing. Oh, it was great fun. From the time I could walk and talk, I wanted to go fishing. All I wanted to do, couldn't wait to get out of school to go fishing. That's what I did, too. Real fine days, we'd go sword fishing. It was my, my job to steer. You'd be up on the mast, you could steer from up there and could stop the engine from up there. All the controls up there on strings. Didn't have anything fancy like they got now. When I did it, we had ropes. They run down from pulley, went down to the tiller aft. Sometimes you only two go. And you don't have much time, so then they had a, you'd take a piece of hose, garden hose, cut a couple of holes and put a string through it, through a pulley with a weight. And you grab that, put, wrap your arm, leg around the stay and slide down. You'd be coming from the mast right down into the swordfish stand. Slide in the stay, they always called it. You steer the boat for the fish, the fall out in the stand. He strikes the fish with a harpoon. You throw over a barrel. This, with a line that goes to the harpoon. Then you lower a dory. The fellow gets in the dory and picks up that keg. So you've got a line that runs from that keg to the lily. And the lily, hopefully, is inside the fish. To get the fish, anywhere from 15 minutes to two hours and a half. It's kind of hard to describe. You just hang on to it. If he wanted to go, you'd have to take him. And you'd take him back. Then he'd go a little. You get a little more and a little more, and then first thing you know, he get another lease on life, and away he'd go. You have to let the let him go way out again, start in all over again. You'd wear him out finally. Then you go up alongside and and hauls the fish in, and gets him up, ties him alongside the door, right? Get him back aboard the big boat. And then I help clean them, ice them down. When I'm harpooning a swordfish, I like it on the left hand side. The striker wasn't any better than the man who was handling the boat. The striker got all the credit, but if the fellow handling the boat didn't know what he was doing, he might not get you anywhere near him, you know. Every man had a job, you know. If they didn't do it right, then you didn't get the fish, that's all. Of course, now they're catching them a long line. They're catching them seven or eight pounds. That's why there isn't any swordfish. Because they've caught them all. They've caught them all. We'll catch them before they get a chance to grow. They never should have allowed it, but they got a big lobby. The long liners have got a big lobby. And they don't, they can't seem to stop them. It's cruel what they catch them little bitty fish, you know. Even worse, they've got them now, they can't bring them in unless they're a certain length. So they're dead and they throw them more than the sharks eat them. Don't make any, don't make any sense, you know. I'm glad I went when I did. You think you're going to get rich, but you don't. Then you think you're going to starve to death, but you don't do that either. I wouldn't miss it for the world.